Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use group compression in Logic. Group compression is really useful because you can take a lot of different sounds that are part of one set, compress them as though they're one instrument to make them sit together really nicely. So for things like guitars, drums, and as I'll be demonstrating here, lead sounds. So first of all, I actually want to group all of my lead sounds, so I'm just going to select them all here, press Command, Shift, and D, and go for summing stack. So now I've got a group here. So now we just go over here and we'll apply a bit of compression. So I'm probably just going to use the Studio VCA, I quite like this one, but we don't want to go overboard with it. Just going to turn the autos off so then we have complete control. And for this we want to use quite a soft ratio because on all my lead sounds they're already being compressed by their own individual compressors anyway, so we don't want to squash them down too much. So I'm just going to have about a two and a half ratio for these I reckon, see how that goes. And we're not looking to get too much reduction out of it. So we'll just solo this group. So now they're all sitting together quite nicely. The attack and release completely depends on what you've grouped together, so for this I'm going to have it a bit quicker probably. And then increase the release a bit as well. So equally for drums you probably have quite a fast attack and a medium sort of release depending on what you've got going on in it. You can also use the distortion, that can sound quite nice but you're going to want to reduce the input gain otherwise it's going to be really loud. Just gives it a bit of bite. So as I said you can use this on any set of instruments so really really good on drums makes them sound like a complete kit as like in this one I've just used a lot of MIDI sounds and samples so if I group them all together they'll sound more natural. As well I've got quite a lot of pads so I can group those together and what will be really cool with those is to then side chain it to the kick so you're getting that pulsing effect from all of the pads and they're being compressed as a set of instruments. So this is a really simple technique to do and you can get some really quick results that sound really nice so I absolutely recommend doing this. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.